This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 1209, How to Stop Giving Fear Power Over Your Life, by Katie Ping with more of whatmattersblog.com. And I'm Justin Mollick, your personal narrator, where I get permission from the authors of the best blogs I can find on personal development, minimalism, productivity, anything that I think will help you live a more meaningful life. And then I simply read their content for free. Katie is a listener, actually, who blogs, and we thought this one would be a good fit for this show. She's a writer, yogi, and mom from a small town. After dealing with anxiety, she started small with a simple walking meditation practice, which is something I can definitely relate to, and it's had a big impact on her life. She writes about making our souls happy. So with that, let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. How to Stop Giving Fear Power Over Your Life by Katie Ping of moreofwhatmattersblog.com. I let fear keep me from fulfilling my dreams. There, I said it. And it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be to admit. In fact, it feels a bit pathetic. I let a false belief dictate the course of my life. I allow it to keep me from moving forward. I give fear the power it doesn't deserve. Look at it this way. We're on a road trip. Say we're going to California. We're driving along and as soon as we hit Arizona, we wonder if we'll make it to California. What if we get lost? What if there's an accident? What if we get too tired to drive the whole way? What if we don't like the climate? What will it be like there? So what do we do? We turn back and go home. Unlikely, right? Just because we aren't certain how the rest of the trip will go does not mean we should just turn around and go home. So why do we do that with our dreams? We play small day in and day out, not sharing what we want to share, not trying what we desire to try, not learning about what we want to learn. Or we try for a little while, and when we don't face immediate success, we cower away believing that we'll never get where we want to go. We hide from ourselves. We fill our schedules with things that don't make us feel good. We make every excuse. We let guilt pour in, and we suffer because of it. Here are four ways that I give fear the power it doesn't deserve and how I'm working to overcome it. I have a fear of time. It flies by, it's gone in a blink. There's never enough. These are not facts, they're beliefs. They are false beliefs. They don't have to be your reality or mine. We spend more time worrying there won't be enough time that we're wasting the time we have right now. Take a moment to think that over. We are so desperate for more time that we waste time. If instead we viewed time as abundant, believe that we had all the time we needed, and trusted that it was not flying or blinking by or being sucked away from us, we might have a different relationship with it and feel there is more of it. Choose to see time as a gift. Choose to see time as abundant. Choose to appreciate this moment and the next and the next. When we prioritize what is most important to us and spend our time on just those things, our dreams are possible, and time is not against us in fulfilling them. Make it clear what is important and choose those things over and over. My priorities are my family, yoga and meditation, writing, and simplifying. What are yours? Say them out loud, make decisions from that place, and do not apologize for it. I have a fear of what others think. We're judgmental beings. It's how we navigate the world around us. This is interesting. This is a waste of time. This is beautiful. That is not appealing. And that's fine to carry these opinions to help us determine what is important to us, but we focus a lot of time on what other people are doing, saying, and projecting. Even more than that, we spend a ton of time worrying about what these people might be thinking about what we're doing, saying, or projecting. And that's dramatic, confusing, and a waste of time. It gives power to those people for their judgments on us, and it gives power to these imagined judgments that we construct in our own minds. The only way we can break free is to act anyway, share anyway, live anyway, without fear of how we will be perceived. Do it in spite of judgment. Say it even if someone will disagree. Act upon it if it's your truest desire. There will always be someone who doesn't understand it, but that's okay because it's not their dream, it's yours. Own it. I have a fear of failure. A fear of failure is one of the biggest reasons why I don't do things I want to do, and it's a terrible excuse. I am terrified of all of the wasted time and disappointment, but when I admit that, I realize how ridiculous it sounds. Babies don't stay immobile for fear of not being able to walk upon taking their first step forward. 
They fall, they get back up. They fall, cry a little, but they make progress. They fall again. They are determined to learn along the way. Let's all be babies, fearless, motivated, and clapping for ourselves along the way regardless of the outcome. Because perfectionism is fear with lipstick on. Trust me, I know. I am a recovering perfectionist. It takes a daily alignment practice, mantras, meditation, and pep talks to overcome. And even then, I struggle to let myself be seen as and see in myself the messy human I am. It's much more exciting and interesting to embrace my humanness, to own my mistakes, and to share regardless of my imperfections. It's not failure. It's a dreamer chasing her dreams and a creative soul experiencing, learning, and living. I have a fear of not making a difference. We don't all have to solve world hunger, cure diseases, travel to Mars, and rescue all of the world's puppies. Actually, we all do need to save puppies. But the other things, they are not requirements to a successful life. It's okay if your dream is to inspire others through fashion or sell a product you're passionate about or help people secure life insurance. It's okay if your dream is to nurture your family or make things pretty or share your talents in the kitchen. This is especially okay if you are also willing to share it with me. The only time your dream is not okay is when you're telling yourself you can't do it. That's not helpful to anyone, especially you. If you have a gift, This world needs it. Someone somewhere will benefit from it. Whether you serve as a teacher, you inspire them, you guide them to realize their dream, or you fulfill a need they have. Do not discredit your dream as unhelpful or pointless. It matters, no matter how small it may seem. The thing about fear is that it feels out of your control. But when you get a hold of it and really look at it for what it is, it is something you choose. Fear is a mindset, and you have the choice to believe it or let it go. Choose to let it go over and over and over again. Take your power back and choose what feels good. You just listened to the post titled How to Stop Giving Fear Power Over Your Life by Katie Ping of moreofwhatmattersblog.com. Come visit her site, show her some love. I have the site linked in this episode's description at oldpodcast.com. And thank you for listening. The greatest thing you can do for me this year is help spread the word about this podcast. Any help sharing this show is greatly appreciated. If any episode like this one or the show as a whole resonates with you or inspires you, I'd greatly appreciate you telling someone or some people about it. You can point them to oldpodcast.com or even better, simply show them how to subscribe for free. But I'll do it for today. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.